Hey hi everyone, this is Mukesh from learn-adoption.com. Today in this video, we will talk about two activities. One is called select item and another is check activity. So select items are mainly useful when you have kind of drop down or list combo box where you have to select items from the menu. Another activity which is similar to this is select multiple item. So as the name says, it will help you whenever you have to select more than one items either from the list, either from the options. You just need to pass these as a number of parameters and it will accept and select the same items from the menu. Last activity will be check activity. This activity will basically deal with the radio button and check boxes and this will allow you to check, uncheck and the toggle events. Now all these activities which we are going to discuss right now can be done with normal click and type activities as well but when we have a dedicated activity for these events so definitely we should use them efficiently okay so in the previous session we have seen how we can automate a desktop application and we have seen this particular application but we did not use this particular list box okay which is you can also say select item or any kind of kind of drop down right and we haven't discussed this part as well radio button check boxes so why i want to cover this in a separate video because we have a separate activity for this okay so there is always one option that you can click here and you can directly click here okay you can click here directly and all but we have a dedicated activities for select box or you can say drop down and for check boxes radio buttons as well so let me show you how you can use these activities in your uh, sequence so i will create a separate sequence for this because uh, we have already done the complete one only these two i have to test so first sequence uh, or i will say let's say text stop to maybe i will give click and select item so this is one separate sequence i'm creating and so the first sequence which i want to talk about is the select item so you can see it's kind of a drop down right so if you want to use a dedicated activity for this then you just need to search for select item and you can see under ui automation under element section we have one select item activity so what it does it will select the item from a combo box or a list box and whenever you indicate that particular element on the screens list will will be available with all the options so let's do this put here and uh, try to identify okay so i will give you one small hint always focus on this arrow whenever you have this kind of uh, list item click on this and you can see right now human resource was selected so it identified default what is the visible item let me do it again let's say by default when you open this application control will be on the sales and now let me check uh, if I say indicate on a screen so you can see now sales has been selected so now if you see the selected part as well and if you just try to see it's a class app title and this is the ID it has captured okay now if you want to select any other item from this combo box let's say while running my uh, sequence I want to select marketing so I will simply say marketing. I don't need to identify again and again. This is the advantage of using select item that in case if you want to change any other value, let's say this to marketing or any other value, you don't need to change this particular uh, activity. Just change the text. For the time being, I will keep this as sales because I want to show you that it will select marketing. This is one activity in a similar way we also have another activity called select multiple items so this is useful when you have any activity or the list box which allow you to select more than one element so whenever you use this you can give multiple values separated by a comma and it will select as of now this application does not support multiple uh, item selection that's the reason i'm not able to show you but in case you have this kind of list box where you can select multiple items please use this and give the multiple values separated by comma 
so let's see how it works so i will put it on sales and let me run this sequence and this sequence we created just now so we need to select this as set as main and just see here and you can say immediately it has selected marketing let me do it again let me put on sales and this time i will quickly jump on this and you just notice it has selected marketing it means this is working fine this is very useful guys because let's say you have a very big drop down let's say country and let's say this country drop down have more than 50 values so and this value which is coming right now we are giving manually right we are just hard coding this once you move forward you can also pass this as an argument so we have in argument out argument that i will show you in uh, upcoming videos so what you can do you can pass this argument from the orchestrator or from any other sources and you can parameterize this that is the power of this select item activity so use it efficiently so the next interesting activity is check activity so let's say you have this application okay sorry so another interesting activity is check activity and let me show you how it works so let me open the application this is the application by default which we have so if i want to select any other value let's say i want to click on vendor so again if i say indicate on screen it identified vendor right now you can see we have three options here check it will check this uncheck and toggle so guys this uncheck and toggle these are meant for checkboxes right now even if you do unchecked this application does not support uncheck event so when you have to say uncheck you have to go back to any other radio button and this also does not support toggle because the moment it is clicked now you cannot do toggle so this toggle and uncheck mainly meant for checkboxes okay not for radio buttons as of now we don't have example of checkboxes but i hope you are able to understand what i'm trying to say so let's say i want to click on this vendor so i will say check and the moment i run this sequence it will be clicked on vendor okay because i have selected here check let's run it again it is on sales i want to select marketing then default it is ft i want to select vendor okay let's continue okay something went wrong it says uh, the fail has been returned into call to a com component combo box was selected select combo box cost center okay let's do it again maybe it's a temporary one and you can see it clicked on marketing and it clicked on vendor as well right so whenever you have this kind of situation where you need to select drop downs and uh, you have this kind of drop down definitely go with select item and whenever you have radio button check boxes definitely you should give a try with these activities which we have just seen okay check unchecked and the toggle option okay so i hope you will use these activities and in the next video i'm going to show you one of the most interesting or more challenging activity called anchor base so thank you so much guys for watching this video if you like this video please share with your friends hit the like button and subscribe to my channel and if you have any doubt then just send me an email and i will try my best to answer you thank you so much guys have a nice day bye bye